November 2019 warm up video take <laughs> zero. Let's talk about what did our team learn in the last month? Here's what our team has learned in the last month. People don't know what IIoT is. We've been shooting content now for a year. This is actually the one year anniversary this, this month is of us shooting whiteboard content. We've shot a lot of videos that have been, our videos are meant to inform, right? And to recruit people to the cause of helping US manufacturers digitally transform their businesses. It's not just US manufacturers, but that's who we focus on because we're here in the States. Our goal is to help save and create middle-class jobs. We've shot a lot of content around what is IIoT, what is digital transformation, what is industry 4.0, and dispelling myths and misconceptions about all three. In the last year, we did a whiteboard series on enterprise, developing enterprise class systems, on agile project management, the software development life cycle, manufacturing execution systems, you name it. We shot you know, more than a dozen podcasts, I think maybe 16 or something like that podcast. We reviewed various products. We went to CSIA and we did interviews with uh, hardware and software manufacturers and talked about new, new products that they were coming out with. We talked a lot about best in class products for digital transformation and industry 4.0. We've talked about what you know what's the one thing that every manufacturer all has in common and we did a whiteboard video about hey this is literally every manufacturer on the planet we did our our industry 4.0 rant which is really centered around hey everyone's spending all this money in erp but that's not where your business takes place and they don't understand why it is erp doesn't give them the value that they were promised but after all of that after the i don't know how many views we have between linkedin and youtube over the last year but i mean we're certainly over a million for sure the there are still misconceptions about what IIoT is, what Industry 4.0 is, and what digital transformation is. And so one of the videos we're going to shoot this month is we're going to talk about how the three play together. Last month we talked about what's the difference between the three. This month we're going to talk about, we're going to define how they play well together. But one of the, what I want to talk about in this warm-up video, which we may or may not post, is specifically about IIoT and OPC UA. Okay. I get a lot of messages from traditional integrators, traditional controls engineers who ask the question, why are you so high on MQTT? Why are you so high on DMP3? You don't talk about OPC UA as, our, as a, an IIoT protocol. We don't use OPC UA and IIoT in the same sentence. There are a lot of people out there who do. If you just go Google it, you know, IIoT and OPC UA, there's lots of companies out there that are saying, hey, you know, how to use OPC UA with IIoT. It's not that we don't use the OPC UA standard and OPC UA protocols or the OPC UA protocol. We do, but we don't use it as the backbone of our IIoT infrastructure. We never would because it's not an IIoT protocol. And in a later, in one of the videos we're going to shoot today, I'm going to answer the question, is OPC UA the future of IIoT? But what I've learned over the last month, I think what our team has really learned over the last month specifically is in spite of all the content that's out there, in spite of all the stuff that we've done to try to dispel myths and correct thinking, there's still a lot of people out there who don't understand what IIoT is and what its value is to the market, what digital transformation is and what its value is to the market, and what Industry 4.0 is and what it is, what its value to the market is. We got a comment just today that someone had to watch four videos before watching your digital transformation video and to actually understand it. Really? Well, and you know, it's, we talked about this, uh, here's another, you know, this could be a piece of micro content or something, but we were talking with our business development group in one of our business development meetings this week. We were talking about, you know, why does our content resonate? You know, why, why don't more people shoot this type of content or whatever? And the answer is, is we're not trying to sell anyone anything. We're just trying to inform people. And so th think about it if, when you try to sell someone something in this day and age, people are really savvy, right? no one wants to be sold to. And so when you try to sell someone to something, you're, you're trying to sell something to someone, are you blatantly selling them? Or do you try to do it like, you know, passively and you want to sell to them without them ever even knowing they were sold to, right? That's the way salespeople sell, I think. Seven figure listing. Right, yeah, exactly. It's like you're trying to sell to them. If you look at the content that integrators put out, that software and hardware manufacturers put out, if you look at all the content that people in industrial automation put out, the reason most of it's crap is because it's just marketing. It's just, it's marketing disguised as useful content. But you can't, it doesn't matter what kind of lighting setup you have, it doesn't matter how awesome your camera is, it doesn't matter how well spoken you are or who wrote your script. If your content is junk, then no one's gonna watch it. 
And if your content is junk, you're not changing the way people think. People regret that they watched your content. What we're trying to do in the content that we, pu that we publish and in all the video, all the conversations we have with various manufacturers of hardware and software is we are trying to fundamentally change the industry. The part of this content is to educate OEMs and end users and integrators on how to digitally transform leveraging IIoT principles that were born out of the fourth industrial revolution, right? That's what we're trying to do. But if you look at a lot of the other content out there, trying to sell you something, we want you to buy our product, right? I don't care if you hire my company and I mean, my clients will tell you, I tell them flat out, I don't care if you use us. I'm not trying to get you to use Intellic integration as your integrator. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do your project actually. I'm not trying to get you to use us. And all our clients will tell you that. I mean, I literally will say in our conversations, I'm not trying to sell our company to you. What I'm trying to get you to do is use IIoT. I'm trying to get you to digitally transform and I'm trying to get you to move from the third industrial revolution to the fourth. Why? Because if you don't, the companies in West Germany who have, who have much higher cost, cost of living are going to, will take over manufacturing globally. The companies in China who have lower wages and companies in Mexico who have lower wages are gonna continue to price out US manufacturers. And what will happen is the, US, the, the middle class in the United States is gonna continue to evaporate because we'll have fewer and fewer manufacturing jobs for Americans to, to work at. So that is literally what we're doing. And what I've learned over the course of the last month, what our team has learned, is that there's still a lot of misinformation out there. A lot of people are continuing. We've helped a lot of people, there's no question. I mean, but, but uh, I, what I've learned is we have a lot more work to do, which is why this content is so important, so.